Around here, we love to cook and try new recipes all the time. And every so often, I get lucky enough to have my husband join me in the kitchen, and he did this week, so that's pretty exciting. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. You ready for this? I'm ready. I don't know if they're ready for this. Oh, you gotta go change clothes. Look at that. <laughs> go change clothes. He is in the appropriate attire. I'm in a proper uniform on today. Spread cream cheese, not hate. Cream of cheese. <laughs> so let me tell you why this is such a big deal. You ain't ready. Okay. You ain't ready. Sit down. Have a seat. He said, why don't we cook today? Today is Saturday. He's usually not able to come in the kitchen with me because he's usually working. So he said, let's cook today. I said, okay. I said, you pick out a... Uh, um, a recipe and he said okay he said it's this creamy Mediterranean chicken skillet I said okay and he's looking at the ingredients and he goes it's got cream cheese I said how much oh boy and it's only half a block and he was like I, I think it's okay yeah we are turning a corner folks <laughs> turning a corner <laughs> he loves him some cream cheese he just doesn't know it yet so we're only gonna be using half the block in this particular recipe, but it's one o'clock already. So it'll be more like a, what do we call that? Lupper? A lupper. Lupper, lunch plus supper. Lupper. 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 Okay, so we're gonna get started. All Let's right. do it. Okay, to get started, we've got our large skillet here. You just need a couple of tablespoons or in our case, more like half a stick, you know. You just do it till it feels right. And you put that in the skillet and allow that to melt down. We've got it on about medium high. I went ahead and diced our onion using the onion chopper or the veggie chopper that I have. And then he's going to mince up four cloves of garlic. And he's so kind, he went ahead and removed all the stems. I did. I de-stemmed the de baby spinach. That's right. And he pulled off every single stem, y'all. He did real good. He stood well, over here for like gonna play. 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, so what we did here is we just seasoned the chicken with salt and pepper. We cut each chicken breast in half so it would cook quicker. And we've got it here in our butter. We'll let it stay on this side for three, four, five minutes and then we'll flip it. So Steven said, I wanna throw some garlic powder and some paprika on it. And I said, well, do it. So that's what we're doing. Oh, that's pretty. So we're just flipping these and we're gonna allow them to cook all the way through on the other side before we remove them. So now Stephen is gonna finally dice our roasted red peppers. These are fire roasted red peppers from Thrive Market. So we used about half of this box of penne. We're just going to be making this separate. This will go at the bottom of our dish when we're ready. You can use whatever noodles you'd like. So these are gonna come out and we've got some aluminum foil. We'll just tint this plate to keep them warm. He's gonna throw in our onion and we're gonna throw in just a little bit of chicken stock to kind of deglaze the pan as well. It smells so good in here. Cole came in here, he was like, uh, what are y'all making? It smells really good. <laughs> so we did two large roasted red peppers and then we've got about four cloves of garlic that Stephen minced. Oh, there you go. Have at it, Chef Steven. Mm -hmm. You and your cream cheese self. Yeah. <laughs> While that's cooking, we're just gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, this has been cooking for just a couple of minutes. We're gonna add in Steven's favorite ingredient ever. Four ounces of cream cheese. I'm just kinda separating it out. A dollop. A dollop of cream cheese. <laughs> and then we need to put in the rest of the chicken stock. So we had a cup and a half of chicken stock. He put in about a half a cup earlier. We're gonna put in the rest of it now. And we're gonna stir this around and we're gonna let it melt, obviously, and let it simmer for a good seven or eight minutes. Our cream cheese has melted completely and it's come up to a simmer. It says to allow it to simmer for about seven minutes so it will reduce a bit. So we've got the temperature on about medium and we're gonna let it hang out. Now it's time to add our spinach. It calls for two cups. We're just doing two really large handfuls. Here, you can use this to stir it around. I've already drained our pasta. It's hanging out back here. We're gonna let this wilt down and then we're gonna add our chicken back in. And it's gonna be time to eat. Look at this. Steven's about to slide all that chicken back in there along with the juices. I'm so hungry, it's ridiculous right now. So yeah, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited because I'm hungry. And you're excited because there's cream cheese in it. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Whoops. It got <laughs> All foggy. Right. A little froggy. That, my friends, looks amazing. Fix that hair. All right, here we go with the cream cheese meal. 
Let's see what we got. You act so mad about it. It ain't hardly got it anything cheese in there at all. smells absolutely delicious. Now Cole is all skeptical because you said cream cheese. Yeah, it's got cream cheese in this thing. But Have your dad nice picked this recipe out, believe it or not. Mm. Well, it's not great, but it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> that is really mm. good. That sauce is mm. amazing. And the chicken is perfectly cooked. Okay, good. That sauce. You want to drink it? Yeah. This is a wonderful meal. This is like restaurant quality. Oh, yeah. Better. Oh, yeah. This is better. Better. Yeah, we give this one a 10 out of 10. Maybe 11 out of 10. <laughs> this might end up in a favorites. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. One thing I was thinking of, and I can't believe what Steven just said. I'll let him say it again here in a second. If you wanted to thicken up the sauce, you could definitely do like a cornstarch slurry and thicken it up just a little bit, just so it grips to the pasta a little better. And what did you say? You could even add what? A little bit more cream cheese, maybe. And that's all I have to say about that. Just to thicken the sauce a little bit. We need bit. to write the date down. Okay, just to thicken. Calling the commentator. Calling the commentator. <laughs> we haven't done commentator stuff in a while. If you're new here, you may not have seen it. So basically what we do is we pick some comments that you guys have left and we read them here on screen. If they're a tip, like they're helpful for someone or sometimes they're funny. But I saw this one on yesterday for me, but last Friday's video and we were tenderizing pork chops in that yeah. video. You remember? I remember. All right. So here you go. It says, this is Brenda Brescher. If you sprinkle baking soda on meat and leave about 15 to 20 minutes, they will be tender. It says Asian trick. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. You then wash off all the wash all the soda off and season and cook. I, I never would have guessed that. I have never that. heard that. And several of you liked the comment and said, yes, that you've heard of that too. So hmm. that might be that something might be we need something to look into. Yeah, we should maybe give that a little try. <laughs> But our pork chops were super tender last time, but... And we used the hammer. We did use the hammer. Arm and hammer baking soda? Isn't that what that is? Dad jokes. <laughs> oh, we're losing power. Tell them bye. Power. The power is quickly fading. What's up? It's time to cook dinner again. I've actually already put some of our dinner in the oven. And I'll show you that right here, but it is my mom's brown rice and we've been making it with three ingredients my whole life. But recently, if you saw my side dishes video, I discovered that if you slice up some butter and put it on top, it makes it even better because you know, butter makes everything better. So I've got my brown rice baking in the oven. It still has 35 minutes, but that means I need to get started on our main dish. It's going in the air fryer tonight. You could definitely do this in the oven too. If you don't have an air fryer, no big deal, but we're just doing chicken sausage and veggies all chopped up and kind of just tossed in some seasonings. We're keeping it simple tonight. It's really easy. We're just going to throw it all together. So let's do it. So I'm just going to chop up some veggies. I did go to the grocery store today, so I just got these. But if you have some veggies in your veggie drawer and you just don't really know what to do with them, this is a really great way to use them. Okay, so I've got my one zucchini and I've got these two bell peppers. All right, and lastly, I'm not gonna use this entire red onion because I don't need to, maybe that much. And again, I'm just gonna cut this into somewhat large chunks. Let's toss in a little bit of olive oil. Ooh, that is a potent onion. Ooh. Okay, so a little bit of olive oil going in. We don't need a ton. Maybe a tablespoon, not even that much, I don't think. And let's throw in some seasonings. We've got some garlic powder, maybe a teaspoon. Same with onion powder. My hand is wet, so it's stuck all to it. And then lastly, we're gonna throw in some Italian herbs. If you've been here for a while, you know that I'm gonna be very careful with this. The lid can come off and will come off. So let's toss that around. And now let's just chop up the chicken sausage. I had this chicken sausage, I'm pretty sure. You like that? I can talk, I promise. Ask my husband. I'm pretty sure I got these from Sam's Club not too long ago, but I vacuum sealed them. So I just, um, took them out of the freezer this morning and let them thaw in the fridge all day. I'm just gonna slice these up. These already have a good bit of seasoning on them or in them, I should say. So I'm just gonna toss them around, but it was mainly the veggies that we were needing to season. So that's why I did that first. 
Okay, let me go grab my air fryer and we're gonna preheat that and get these started. As I was putting up the other seasonings, I saw paprika and I thought, you know what? Let's just put a little bit of paprika on there for coloring, you know, just maybe a half a teaspoon. You ever do that? You just kind of look through your spice cabinet and you're like, a little of this, a little of that. It never hurt nobody. Gracie, that's paprika, it's not cheese. Let's preheat this. We're gonna preheat it to 390. It has preheated. Now we're gonna spray it with a little bit of oil. Okay, and dump in all of our good stuff. I'm gonna put this in the air fryer at 390 for probably about eight or nine minutes, but we'll toss it halfway through. So I'll come in here when there's like four or five minutes left and toss it. Okay, so I forgot to show y'all that I tossed it, but I did. Yes. <laughs> That's gonna be good. Some good color to go with that rice. I know. I am looking forward to the that. The rice has three more minutes. So that'll be coming out here in just a second. We're gonna be eating dinner. It's just me and you. I know. What in the world? Just more for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was wondering why I didn't hear it beep. You ready to eat? Yeah. Do this. As Pop would say, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, that just looks pretty. That was good. And then your favorite. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good, too. That, my dear, is dinner. Hmm. I know. I know. <laughs> Belly aching down here. You know what I just realized? I didn't salt and pepper it. Does it need to be salt and peppered? Um, I mean, not really. As he reaches for the salt. Let's try it out. I forgot to salt it. Let's try it out. Don't do as I do. I mean, you got seasonings on there. I, I mean, can yeah. Definitely there's, taste them. there's definitely seasonings, but I totally forgot salt and pepper. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm sorry, babe. We'll throw a little bit on there. I mean, that's why you keep it on the table just in case. All we right, very now. rarely ever have to grab it. Definitely but. get those seasonings, though. Good. The, uh, the herbs you got on there? Yeah. Let's try it now. A little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love the way the veggies are cooked. Good. You know, it's got still got a little bit of a crunch to them. Mm -hmm. well, there's a little spice or something. Mm. I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, it's it? probably from the actual, from, actual chicken sausage. From the chicken sausage, yeah. yeah. That's nice. And then you've got your... Oh, yeah. Here we go. I mean, that's the best. <laughs> that is really good. Talk about smooth. This is loaded with flavor. It is. This rice. Does it pair well with the veggies and all of that? The rice can, you can eat that rice with anything. You really can. But yes, it does. Because there's like some contrast here, obviously with colors, but then with um, textures and flavors, flavors and stuff. Flavors, yeah. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to mine. I cannot believe I forgot salt. Y'all let me forget salt and pepper. Were you yelling at the, at the screen, be honest? Um, all right, so I'm gonna salt and pepper mine and I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna listen to this girl belly ache for a little longer. Mm -hmm. You just starving to death. Just so neglected. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> normally this would be the part of the video where we do our third recipe and it's normally a subby supper night, but I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I am not feeling my best and I need to record it today if I'm going to get it into this Friday's video. So with that being said, there is not a third recipe this week. I will just move it into next week's video. Just not feeling my best and don't wanna force it you will be able to tell because I just don't feel great. Next week, Lord willing, there will be three as usual. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Bye. And this girl wanted to say goodbye too. You wanna say something? She said, I'm just mad that there's not more cheese. Okay, now we're out.